Hi everyone, welcome to another Space Time 5. Today I'm going to talk measuring. I have in front of me a number of tools that are measuring. Carpenter square, combination square, speed square. I love these little see-through rulers. A pocket ruler, flexible metal ruler, a dial caliper. And then lastly here, I have a couple adhesive tapes. These are the leftovers. I used both of these um, recently when I re-taped my table saw. But today I'm going to be talking about measuring tapes. And here is arguably the industry standard, the Stanley Powerlock 25 footer. This thing has been around for about 50 years. It's hard to beat. The other thing, you can pick one of these up for eight bucks right now. The thing is, it's big. On the order of 375 grams. I, I wrote this down. I looked at these earlier. That's 0.825 pounds. This is a big device. There are smaller ones. Here's a, a Starrett brand 12 footer. This thing doesn't disappoint. It's much lighter. It's half as long, of course, but it's only 110 grams, just under a quarter of a pound. Here's a Stanley comparable one, also a 12 footer. As you can see, they're roughly the same size, 12 foot, and they have a very similar design. It's a plastic case, a bit of it's rubberized. This one, unfortunately, has a mandatory use locking mechanism. You have to squeeze this one to let out the tape, and to put it back in, you have to squeeze it again. I find that to be a hassle. I like old school. I like being able to just stick my finger there. This guy, I'm not digging it too much. This is fine, and, and it's light enough that I can throw in my apron, um, but it's wide. I recently picked up another Stanley because I love the 25 footer, the power lock. I picked up this little one and I thought it was going to be my new go-to. It's a 12 footer and it also has metric. The thing is, it's also quite heavy too. This one is 143 grams. So that is 0.32 pounds. That's almost, that's a third of a pound. Uh, that's pretty chunky. It's not wide and bulky, but this is much lighter. This one's heavier. Which leads me to what I think is arguably the closest thing to perfect for a tape measure for making in a small shop like this. And I have it, incidentally, in my apron. It's the 10 foot pocket size Stanley Powerlock tape measure. The best thing about this is it's very thin profile as well as it's lightweight. Uh, that's a 10th of a pound. This is nothing. This lives in that pocket. There are three things that I always have in my apron. My mechanical pencils, my machinist square, and then my Stanley 10 foot pocket power lock. Uh, one of the biggest drawbacks is it has no standing strength. Measuring longer stuff, you like to be able to do this. I think the Stanley can go out on the order of eight feet before it, before it finally bends from its own weight. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm, I'm usually measuring things within an arm span. Drawbacks, one. Uh, the other one, frankly, that's about it. The fact that it's, it's a little flimsy. Oddly enough, it's more expensive than the big power lock. I did want to show you one last thing. This is, this is cool. Looks like metal, but it's not. It's metal plated through a process called vacuum metallization. You've seen this before. If you're a sci-fi toy geek like me, C-3PO from Star Wars, and it is the same process. It's plastic that's coated with metal. This is made the same way. It's not actual metal, but that might be a good thing. It could take a lot of abuse, and here's an example of that. This is one my dad gave me. He was a construction manager for decades. This one's been through it all, and yet when you take it and you hold it up on a ruler like this, one of the things that goes bad on these is the clip on the end and that'll skew your measurement but this one it's just the one that's been to hell and back is dead on I might do a b-roll shot of this just so you can see it's it it's still working fine but this is another real world example of why this is such a great line of tape measures the Stanley power lock 10 foot pocket is my go-to uh, tape measure. Until next time, take care everyone.